Whispers from the past hang in the air of modern-day Jerusalem. Yet no matter how hard you listen, the truth behind so many of these biblical stories that took place here remains so captivatingly elusive in part because so many answers may be buried underneath what today is a living, breathing city. Anat Shimoni Cohen is a biblical scholar and a tour guide. She took us to one of the only places where archaeologists, pilgrims and tourists are allowed to explore below this storied city. It's notoriously difficult to dig under the old city of Jerusalem. It's very difficult because it's very sensitive. We are talking about holy places of the three main monotheistic religions. It's so politically charged. It's so politically charged. Discovered by accident in the 19th century when an archaeologist was walking his dog, this massive network of caves and tunnels is known as Solomon's Quarries. King Solomon is the uh, founding father. The founding father, of yes. The Freemasons. Of the Freemasons. The reminders of Solomon, his temple, and its destruction seem to seep from these walls. The name of this corner is Tzedakiah's Tears. The tears of the king. Yeah, the tears of the king. But Why is he crying? Well, this was the end of the first temple period. It was under Zedekiah's rule that Jerusalem fell to the Babylonians. The temple was destroyed and the Ark of the Covenant went missing from both history and the pages of the Bible. The 10th century BC is, is the last time anybody actually really sees it according to the biblical tradition. Many believe these underground tunnels were used to secretly transport the Ark out of Jerusalem. And when the Babylonian troops took inventory of the treasures they had plundered, something was missing. Now there are other stories that maybe somebody spirited the Ark out of the city just ahead of the destruction. Are people trying to be detectives? Are they trying to uncover something? Well, some people prefer to leave it as it is. And some people I know that still look and wants to find the, the Ark of the Covenant. I don't know if somebody will find it. And I don't know what's remain after uh, more than 2,500 years. <laughs>